If you want to show up on Google quickly, you're going to need to let Google know about your website. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you in this video. You're going to need three things to follow along with this tutorial, so make sure that you have them ready. First thing you're going to need is a website. You need a website if you want to show up higher on Google, if you want to even rank on Google. The next thing you're going to need is a sitemap. Don't worry, I'll explain what this is in a second. And the last thing you're going to need is a Google Search Console account. If you haven't set this up yet, don't worry. Check the link in the description to my previous tutorial showing you the step-by-step -step process on how to set this up. It's really easy. So. What is a sitemap? Think of a sitemap as a directory or a list of all the pages on a website. Don't worry, sitemaps are automatically generated, so you don't actually need to create this list yourself or even maintain it. Sitemaps have been around since the 90s, but it wasn't until the early 2000s that Google actually standardized the format and started using the sitemap for search engine indexing purposes. The standardization of the sitemap was a response to the internet growing exponentially and Google needing to crawl the websites more efficiently. Okay, so this is an important thing to remember when it comes to SEO. Every time Google visits a website, it costs them money. So if you can make it really efficient for Google to find all the pages on your website, they'll be more likely to come back more often, which will help your content index faster. So basically, if you save Google money, you will be rewarded. <laughs> Oh, and by the way, I'll be covering a ton of more ways to save Google money in upcoming videos, so make sure that you're subscribed. All right, now that you know what a sitemap is, you have a website and you have Google Search Console set up, we're gonna get into the tutorial. The first thing we're gonna do is check to see if your website already has a sitemap. And if you're using WordPress, Wix, Squarespace, or Shopify, you're likely already gonna have one automatically generated for you. The way to check this is go to yourwebsite.com slash sitemap.xml. And you may have noticed that my URL changed from sitemap.xml to sitemap underscore index.xml. That's okay. You were going to submit whatever your link is. We're going to submit that to Google Search Console. I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. And since I'm on WordPress and I'm using the Yoast SEO plugin, this is what my sitemap looks like. And it's actually a collection of different sitemaps. So a collection of different indexes or directories. So if I click on the first one, post sitemap.xml, this will show me a list of all the blog posts that I have on my website. So it shows the URL, the amount of images, and when it was last modified. So basically when Google comes to your sitemap and they see, hey, this page was just modified, that tells them that it's either a brand new post that they haven't seen before and they should go check it out, or that it's an old post that we updated information to make it more relevant with today. Either way, this tells them that we want them to go look at that recent post or that recent update. So I wanna show you another example. If your sitemap looks like this, what's on the screen right now, that's okay as well. It has all the same information that my sitemap has, but I'm using the Yoast SEO plugin and they generate their own sitemap, which, you know, looks a little bit better to the eye than this. Again, the look does not matter at all. Remember, this is for search engines and not people. Okay, so now that we've verified that you have a sitemap and you know what that URL is, you're gonna grab that URL and then you're gonna log into Google Search Console. Once you're logged in, you're gonna come here on the left-hand panel and you're gonna click sitemaps. And don't worry if your Search Console doesn't look exactly like mine. If you just set it up, it's not going to look exactly the same. Now what we're gonna do is add a new sitemap. You don't need to do this more than once. If you've already submitted your sitemap to Google, they already know about your website. Submitting it more than one time isn't going to have any benefit to you. So all you're gonna do is come up here, paste in the link to your sitemap. You're gonna delete the domain part out of it because it's already right here. So just delete that and it'll be, you know, whatever your website is, .com.ca slash sitemap. And most of the time it will be just .xml and not sitemap underscore index XML. If you're using the Yoast SEO plugin on WordPress, this is going to be your URL. If you are not using the Yoast plugin, it's just going to be uh, sitemap.xml. And all you need to do is click submit. And then once that's submitted, it might take a couple days. It might take a couple weeks for Google to actually look at it and start indexing it. But this is the quickest way to let Google know that you have a website, that you exist. And the more frequently that you post on your website and update your website, the more frequently they'll come back, especially if you make it really easy and efficient for them to find all the pages on your website. All right, that's it. You made it to the end of the tutorial. And now Google knows about your website and you're ready to start showing up in their search results. Oh, and last thing, if you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for more. Bye.